Today a student arguing with Charlie Kirk that he doesn't believe in any government. He believes in the goodness of humanity. He said if people are good, honest and care for each other, then we don't need any government. Charlie Kirk responded, then why don't you live like the Amish people? They are free from these things. The student replied that it's very difficult because they are very religious. But Charlie Kirk countered them in a powerful way. Let's see what happened next in the video. For those who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. I don't believe in, in big government, right? I believe you don't. In, no government. No government. Little, so no you're an anarchist. Government. Yes. I believe in I believe in voluntary hierarchy and democracy. What's preventing you from doing what the Amish do? Get off the grid and just go live like that right now. Well, the Amish are religiously excluded. No, forget the forget the religious okay, component. Well, but the Amish are a great example. It's incredibly difficult to just pick up everything that you have, leave, and go and. So you want to tell me how to live? What I'm saying is that there are people that are literally starving, and that if you had extra houses and they literally just came and occupied the houses that you are not using, they are justified because you are being a massive asshole. If someone forcefully takes away something that is sedentary, not being used in that purpose, it is a rightful means of theft. Yes. Wow. Yes. Um, so you don't believe in private property, right? No, I do not. I believe you don't believe in private property rights. So we're getting somewhere. So you're, you're not a libertarian, my friend. Libertarians oh, believe. I'm not a libertarian it, in the American. I'm not a libertarian in the capitalist sense. I'm not a libertarian in the American sense. So stop using the word because you're anything but it. I don't understand why this boy is saying about how people are starving in the world. They don't have homes and that they can claim a place that you don't use because you have enough of it. I think this is completely wrong. My mother passed away. There are things of hers that I have kept because she is no longer in this world and they make me feel good. I have kept her empty perfume bottle from which the fragrance used to come that reminded me of my mother. I have also many small things of her. Many people have the homes of their parents who are no longer in this world, but they give them to their children. So I completely don't understand this idea of claiming someone else's place. It's true that people are hungry and homeless, but the responsibility for this lies mostly with governments. As Joram Peterson said, we have no shortage of resources if the world wants to. No one can remain hungry, no one can remain homeless. But our dirty politics, our greed have brought us to this point. I think good people who fear God also find ways to help others in some way. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Thank you for listening and supporting me. Take care.